everyone. This is Bruno with a new segment called 10 Minutes or Less with Bruno No BS. A very simple, casual interview here. No fancy cameras. Today I have the honor to speak with Jill Bloom from one of the most well-known roofing magazines and websites in our roofing industry. The Roofing Contractor, Wall and Ceilings, and Building Closure. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Bruno. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be with you today. All right, awesome. How long have you been in our roofing industry? Wow, it's been a long time. Uh, let's see here. My anniversary with Roofing Contractor and BNP Media is August 2nd. Uh, it'll be 21 years. Almost like your husband, right? Greg Bloom. I know. Well, he's, he's, a, he's a legend, but he's been in doing this a lot longer than I have. <laughs> Do you guys talk a lot about roofing? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We, when we shut down, we try and shut down. <laughs> when did you realize roofing would be a career for you? Well, you know, there's a little bit of a story there. Um, when I was in a previous career before I started into roofing, um, I, uh, one of my customers was from BNP Media, and he had always tried to recruit me. And so when the time came to switch careers and I knew I needed to do something, honestly, Bruno, I didn't care what I did. I just knew there was two things. Number one, I wanted to work with people that um, – people that I looked up to, that I admired, uh, that people that I felt like were sharper than myself. And number two, I just wanted an opportunity. And, and who knew that it was gonna lead me to Roofing Contractor Magazine, but here I am 21 years later, it, I know I'm doing exactly what I, what I should be doing. It's been a great thing. So it's not like, I didn't necessarily chose, choose roofing, I chose advertising sales, and it happened to be in roofing. And it's been so much fun all around. Not only is BNP a great place, but the roofing industry, as well as walls and ceilings and building enclosure. I mean, the contractors in general are just really great people to work with as well. Of course, all the manufacturers as well. I, I'm telling this. I'm a big fan of Roofing Contractor Magazine. You know, I know you represent other uh, brands too as well, but uh, everything that it goes in my mind is when I Google search and I put a top of hundred roofing contractors, you know, and it pops out your website right away. And I can see who is winning, who is the, the big winner of 2018, 17, 2019, 2022. I think it's coming up 2020, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, top 100 is, there's no doubt. It's our number one search topic on our website. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about your job description and what you do for uh, uh, all those three brain, brands that you represent? Yeah, so like I said, when I started 20 years ago, I started on Roofing Contractor, and then over time, um, there was uh, some changes within the company, and I started overseeing other brands like Walls and Ceilings and Billion Closure. So my title is Group Publisher, and uh, I oversee all the marketing and adver well, the marketing and advertising uh, and editorial for uh, those three brands. And it is, uh, so I know a lot of the, my knowledge, I feel like is more toward on the roofing side, because I just, because I've been doing it longer, but contractors in general is everything we're about. How hard it is to separate business and family, especially oh, when you hard. have a, especially when you have a, a famous guy, you know, a famous husband, Greg yeah. Bloom. So it's kind of like how hard it is to separate that. It is. I, you know, what? it's never perfect. It's, it is difficult. Um, we have children as well. So there's four all together and it is, it's hard, you know, what? but now with COVID uh, I've, I've had a home office. I've been fortunate enough to have a home office for the past five years, but now with everybody at home, you know, it's a lot of juggling, but we make it work. Okay. Uh, you also part of the national, uh, woman roofing. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I am can you tell me about what do you do for them? Yeah, I'm a member of National Women in Roofing. Um, Roofing Contractor was one of the founding sponsors, and it's just a great organization for mentoring and education. All right. What do you see for the future of a roofing industry, for the new generation coming up right now? Well, you know, what's interesting with that, Bruno, is I think that no matter who you are, no matter what career you're going into, is I always like to tell people kind of what I went through. It doesn't matter what you're doing, as long as you work with really great people, and as long as you've got mentors and people that can help that that can help you along. That is the most important thing. If you're having fun and you're working with great people and you have an opportunity, 
it doesn't matter really what uh, you know what the the industry is but those were my criteria and that's what i would tell everybody else is that just have, make sure you're doing something that you know you're going to have fun it's great people and you've got an opportunity what do you see one of the biggest challenge uh, when it comes to like a female a woman in the in our roofing industry yeah you know it is of course everybody knows that roofing is a male dominated industry like you just said and it's really just partnering with people um, other people in the industry that are mentors and finding out how they kind of navigated those waters and working with um working with your managers as well but i think the biggest thing is just finding a mentor and <laughs> hey i've got a dog can you tell she's yep. excited she's, she says yes make find a mentor so yeah. it's really about finding a mentor and other people that can help motivate you to stay on that track and be true to yourself and just love what you do and when you love what you do everything else falls into place any masters out there for the people watching this video uh could it be towards the COVID 19 and all the uncertain things that's happening right now in our country you know what? Those are great questions. We've all been going through tough times, but the bottom line, Bruno, we will all get through this. This too, in a year, it's going to be really interesting to see what we're saying about what we went through. We'll be like, wow, we did it. And it's really about sticking together and working through it. Um, having a great team. You know, we have a great team at Roofing Contractor as well as Wells and Ceilings. Um, but I think really bottom line, everyone's just sticking together and we're going to get through this it's going to be okay but it's tough right now the roofing magazine is no longer in a like a real magazine right it's digital now well we have really we have really evolved um so we had a three-year plan to go all digital but with COVID, it really it kind of accelerated that plan down to three months so june uh, of 2020 was our last print edition that we actually mailed but what's exciting though, Bruno, is that we will still be printing some issues that we take to trade shows. But bottom line, some of the times the print issue is sort of holding us back because when you put something in print, there's, there's lag time in regards to production and actually printing and mailing and people receiving it. So sometimes the information is old. So it was holding us back in a sense that it, you can get it immediately online. And so we're really excited about all the, being able to focus specifically on all our digital products and expanding on those as well. But yes, yeah, so we are, have gone a hundred percent digital and it's going right. to be exciting while we evolve. Uh, what do you do to, uh, you know, become like a sponsor for roofing contract or also, or also being a magazine too as well? What do you have to do? Oh, that's a great question. And I'm so glad you asked that because you know what, Bruno, we write about what we know about. And so we always ask contractors to reach out to us, go to either roofingcontractor.com or wcconline.com and shoot us an email. All our phone numbers are listed there as well. Give us a call because we need to know and we love to write about that. And while, in fact, when you're on our websites, what's important too, since we're all digital is make sure that uh, everybody signs up for our e-newsletters and our digital edition because that's how you're now going to receive that content totally agree with you thank you so much to participate on my little show and uh next time you know i'll i'll be glad to see you maybe in one of those ex, uh, expo trade shows i look forward to it as well bruno thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate you